Once upon a time, in the Bosnian city of Lagos, there was a beautiful Saturday morning. The sun was shining brightly, and the air was filled with a sense of excitement. It was on this day that Lekon, a handsome young man, caught sight of Bola as she made her way to the next street to buy something. Lekon was immediately captivated by Bola's beauty. Her radiant smile, like a glancing diamond, caught his attention and he could not take his eyes off her. In that moment, he knew he had found the woman of his dreams. Bola was a woman with an enchanting figure and captivating curves. Despite her stunning looks, she was also a responsible young lady who lived with her parents. She had recently completed a National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, and had started a home business as a baker. Filled with courage, Lekon approached Bola and politely asked for her attention. Bola turned and looked at him, curious about what he wanted. Lekon introduced himself as he expressed his admiration for her beauty, claiming that she was more beautiful than anything he could ever imagine. Bola smiled in response to Lekon's compliment and a spark ignited between them. They began to talk and got to know each other better. Eventually exchanging phone numbers, Lekon, an engineer working for a real estate company, and Bola embarked on a beautiful love journey. Lekon would often call Bola before going to bed, just to hear a beautiful voice. Their love brought joy and happiness to Bola's life, and she thought of Lekon every day. Even her family and friends could see the love they shared. One day, Bola's parents expressed their desire to meet Lekon. This was a difficult decision for Lekon, as she feared that Bola's parents would not accept him. However, to his surprise, Bola's parents welcomed him into their home with open arms and showered him with love. A few months later, Lekon proposed to Bola and they got married. They were overjoyed to finally become a couple. Lekon proved to be a loving and caring husband, always buying gifts for Bola and showering her with sweet works. Bola soon became pregnant and Lekon was filled with excitement. They supported each other throughout the nine month journey, eagerly awaited the arrival of their baby. Finally, Bola gave birth to a Eddie baby boy, bringing immense joy to their lives. However, as time went on, Lekon began to notice changes in Bola's appearance. She started gaining weight and her beauty seemed to fade away gradually. Lekon kept his concerns to himself, not wanting to hurt Bola's feelings. A few years later, Bola gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. However, Bola's weight gain became more noticeable and Lekon grew increasingly worried and uncomfortable with her appearance. He started losing interest in his wife and no longer showed her the same love and affection as before. He began coming home late from work. And when Bola confronted him, he would make up different stories to avoid the truth. The once beautiful love story 
between Lekon and Bola now faced challenges. Lekon's behavior took a turn for the worse. He started getting involved with different women, betraying his wife Bola's trust. Bola began to notice that something was not right in their marriage. She confronted Lekon, hoping he would be honest with her, but he chose to cover up his actions with lies. As time went on, Lekon's behavior became even more concerning. He stopped coming home altogether and moved in with another woman. He never opened up to Bola about his dissatisfaction with her weight gain. Bola tried reaching out to him multiple times, but her efforts were in vain. She even sought help from his family, hoping they could intervene, but Lekon refused to listen to anyone. Bola made numerous attempts to reconcile with him, but Lekon had already made up his mind. Left with no other choice, Bola decided to focus on her business as a baker and her two lovely children. She faced the challenges of being a single mother head on. It was not easy for Bola and her kids, but with the support of her parents, she was able to stand on her own feet and improve her life despite a difficult situation. Many years later, Bola managed to sponsor her children through university and they both graduated successfully. Her son, Emmanuel, became the CEO of his own company. Why her daughter pursued a career in medicine and became a doctor. They thrived in their respective field, bringing pride and joy to their mother's hearts. Meanwhile, Lekon, who had led a mysterious and reckless lifestyle for many years, lost his job and fell into financial ruin. He was eventually thrown out of his mistress's house and found himself living on the streets. Desperate for a job, he started looking for work as a driver and eventually found a position in his son's company. Unbeknownst to both of them, Lekon became his own son's driver. Emmanuel, having been separated from his father at a young age, no longer recognized him. One day, Emmanuel asked Mr. Lekon to drive him to his mother's house. Little did Mr. Lekon know that this would be the day he received the shock of his life. As Bola came out of her house to welcome her son, Mr. Lekon was overcome with shame and regret. He could not bear the weight of his actions and began to cry, realizing the pain he had caused his family. In that moment, Mr. Lekon realized the consequence of his choice and the impact they had on his loved ones. It was a moment of deep reflection and remorse. He had lost the love and trust of his wife and children, and now he had to face the consequence of his actions. Overwhelmed with shame and regret, Mr. Lekon could not find the words to express his remorse. Bola, on the other hand, was taken aback by his sudden appearance and the flood of emotion that washed over her. She had longed for this moment, a chance for Lekon to witness the life he had abandoned and the pain he had caused. As Bola stood before him, her eyes filled with a mixture of sadness and strength. Mr. Lekon's tears flowed uncontrollably. He realized the magnitude of his mistakes and the irreversible damage he had inflicted upon his family. The weight of his actions bore down on him and he felt the weight of his own shame. Bola, 
despite the hurt she had endured, found it in her heart to show compassion. She saw the brokenness in Mr. Lacon's eyes and understood that he had finally come face to face with the consequence of his choice. In that moment, she made a decision to forgive, not for his sake, but for her own peace of mind. With a terrible voice, Bola spoke softly. Lekon, I never thought I would see you again. But here you are, standing before me. I want you to know that I have forgiven you, not because you deserve it, but because I deserve to be free from the burden of anger and resentment. Our children deserve to see their parents, find Ely and move forward. Mr. Lekon, still overwhelmed by his emotions, could only nod in response. He knew that forgiveness was not a guarantee of reconciliation. It was a necessary step towards healing. He had a long road ahead of him to hand back the trust and love he had lost. Bola invited Mr. Lacon into her home where they sat down to have a heartful conversation. They spoke about the pain they had both experienced, the struggles they had faced and the lessons they had learned along the way. It was a raw and honest conversation, filled with tears, but also with a glimmer of hope. As the days turned into weeks, Mr. Lacon began to actively seek redemption. He attended counseling sections to address his deep-rooted issues and to understand the impact of his actions on his family. He also sought guardians from spiritual leaders, hoping to find solace and guardians in his journey towards transformation. Bola too had her own healing to pursue. She focused on her personal growth, finding strength in her faith and the support of her loved ones. She continued to build her business pouring her heart and soul into her passion for baking. Through it all, she remained committed to being the best mother she could be for her children. Slowly but surely, Mr. Lacon started to build the broken bonds with his children. He approached them with humanity and sincerity, acknowledging his mistakes and expressing his deep regret. It was a challenging process as his children had grown up without his presence and had their own wounds to heal. But with time, patience and consistent effort, they began to open their hearts to the possibility of reconciliation. Emmanuel, now a successful CEO, struggled with conflicting emotions. He had built a life for himself, independent of his father's influence. Yet, deep down, he longed for a connection with the man who had brought him into this world. As he witnessed his father's genuine remorse and witnessed the effort he was making to change, Emmanuel cautiously allowed him back into his life. The journey towards reconciliation was not without its setbacks. There were moments of doubt, hunger, and frustration, but Bola, Emmanuel, and their daughter understood that healing was a process and they were committed to giving their father a chance to make amends. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel to support us. Hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share.